Hello world and welcome back to our YouTube channel. So today I created this makeup look for you guys. I've had a couple of you guys over on Instagram suggest a bridal makeup look. I wore this look to my best friend's wedding. Um, a little bit darker of a lip option this time around. I just wanted to bring you guys something that I would wear, something a bride could wear, a bridesmaid could wear, a friend that's going to the wedding, anything. I thought this was really pretty and simple and lets your skin kind of shine from within because it's not too crazy just the eyes and the lips really the statement but anyway if you guys want to see this look then definitely stick around if you're new here my name is yami hi welcome i make clean green beauty here clean green beauty here clean green beauty videos here on youtube um i would love to have you be a part of our family so if you like any content like that then you're definitely in the right place so i'm not going to ramble too much if you would like to follow me on any of my other social medias I'm gonna leave it right here for you guys. But yeah, let's get into the purpose of this video. This look. All right guys, so I did already moisturize, wash, and prime my skin. I did prime my face with the mattifying primer only in the T-zone area. Everywhere else, I let it be. So I am going to show you the foundation, the mixture that I ended up using for the day of my best friend's wedding. Again, you can use this if you're going to be a bride yourself. I think it's going to last. Mind you, I do live in Florida, so if you live somewhere colder during this time of year or getting married around this time or this season, go with something a little bit more hydrating, a little bit more glowy. But me, I'm an oily girl living in South Florida. I gotta do some mattifying. So the day of the wedding, I ended up going with two foundations. The two foundations that I ended up going with, I just kind of catered to what I thought I would need that day. I ended up going in with Antonym Skin Esteem Foundation and the Fruit Pigmented Foundation by 100% Pure. Um, I received this and I was really eager to kind of get my hands in, but the shade is way too dark for my skin, so I ended up mixing it and I did like the combination. So I go in heavily more with the skin, um, Fruit Pigmented Water Foundation by 100% Pure, and then the Skin Esteem I use just a little bit because it is too dark, but together it gives me a mattifying yet glowy look because this is more of a, a silk kind of glowy uh, foundation. So both together, love it. I'm going in with a booty, booty, booty blender. I'm going in with a beauty blender to blend that all out. All right, so there's the foundation. As you can see, it's mattifying, but yet you have some hydration and some glow, and I really do give that to this foundation. I think this foundation mixed together with this beauty does give you that mattified yet glowy look wherever you really want it. So together, I've really been loving this. Now, I'm not gonna set my foundation yet because I'm gonna go in with the rest of my sample from the Hint Duet Perfecting Concealer. I'm gonna use some uh, concealing under my eyes and I'm gonna give a little bit more high, more glow in certain spots. So I'm gonna go in with this beauty really quickly. If you guys have never tried this concealer, I would definitely suggest it. I'm gonna go in with my finger, I'm gonna bring it down a little bit and over. Just over my eyes to act like a shadow primer for the shadows we're going to go in with in a little bit. I'm not going to take too much, but I am going to put it in a little bit of the bridge of my nose and a little bit on my forehead. I'm not going to worry about my chin because I do not need any added attention to some of the spots because I do have some breakouts there. I just want some light in some areas all right and a little bit just down the bridge of my nose i'm 
So I'm gonna go in with Well People. This is their Bio Brightener Invisible Powder. I'm gonna go in with this in the areas that I need to set. So like my T-zone, but also under eyes and my eye lids, my eyelids, cause that's where I put some concealer for some shadows later. So I'm gonna take a small brush and this is a, I don't even know the name cause it's so worn off, but a small little fluffy brush. I feel like I like these best to get into like the nooks and crannies. So a little bit. Tap, brush out, look up. Next, I'm going to go in with the 100% Pure Cocoa Glow Pigmented Bronzer. I'm just going to take it on my cheekbones, bring it up a little bit, and down on my jaw. So, just use a random brush, nothing special. I just love this bronzer. It's so pigmented. A little literally goes such a long way, so... I blend out my bronzer on my cheek last. I take whatever's left on my brush and just sweep it through my face. I'll come back to it. After I bronze, I go in with the Juice Beauty Last Looks Cream Blush in Flush. Take about that much. Just pat it in a circular motion. And little by little, just diffuse it upward. And then as a finishing touch, I just kind of go over the edges at the end with my Beauty Blender just to kind of blend it seamlessly. And there we have it. Now that I'm done with the base and my face, I'm gonna go in with my palette for the eyes. This is the PYT Beauty No BS Eye Palette. It's a really beautiful palette. It looks like this. The names are on here, not on the actual palette. That's the only thing I don't like. But I'm gonna go in with pretty much only these bottom shadows to create a smoky look. I'm gonna go in with the Coffee Run, Day Trip, and then Nonstop, and I'm gonna gradually build it to make it a natural kind of smoky look, but really wearable, even in the daytime. So we're gonna take this lightest brown shade and we're gonna put it all over the lid first. So let's pack this on. I'm going to go in with the second darkest shade called Day Trip on the crease. <laughs> Just slowly but surely intensify the darkness without going too dark first. If you guys ever wonder why I try to do as much as possible voiceovers or fast makeup looks it's because my neighbors are really loud above i live in a condo um and you'll probably hear them interrupt me if i ever um i literally have to repeat things three times just to make sure i have the right take because they're literally so loud so then the last bit guys is to take this darker brown um darker black slash gray color and kind of intensify the outer crease a little bit more to kind of smoke it out a little bit more little bit literally at a time. You're gonna see how little I add each and every time. I'm gonna take the small end and then diffuse it, oh, 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 excuse me, and diffuse it with the bigger end. So kind of go back and forth.
Whatever I have left on the brush, I'm not going to do anything too crazy, but I'm going to take a little bit of what I have left and bring it down to the lower lash line. So to add some lightness again, I'm going to go in with this white shade on the inner corner just to kind of bring some more light, not only smudging and darkness. I'm going to take my finger though, and I'm going to go in with it. I was sampling and trying a plume, not plume, a eco brow eyebrow gel but I can't seem to find where that went. So um, whenever I can't find the green beauty products that I'm currently using, I go back to my Anastasia. Uh, this pencil I've had for ages and I go back to it whenever I can't find what I'm using. But I do like that Eco Brow gel. I'm definitely gonna get me some. I will definitely get me some as soon as I'm done using that. But I can't find it, so Anastasia it is. I'm gonna brush up my eyebrows. So on the day of the, uh, the day of my best friend's wedding, I went in with the um, Eco Brow, and then I went in with the Juice Beauty gel, and I'm still gonna use the Juice Beauty gel so you guys can see it. Guys, it's amazing. I love this stuff. Well, the Juice Beauty gel. I'm finding little things here and there that I'm really liking for my brows. I'm really picky about my brows, not because they're high maintenance. It's simply because they're not high maintenance. So I like using things that are really easy and simple to just throw on my eyebrows and go. And the Juice Beauty gel is exactly that. So I have my brows filled in with the Anastasia brow pencil. I'm going to go in and just set everything with the Juice Beauty Fido Pigment Brow MD Gel. This guys, it's great. It's a little bit of a wetter consistency. The brush kind of seems like it's completely covered in the formula, but it is amazing for how it just sits on your brows and gives it this beautiful color and richness while holding it in place. This is how I like to warm up my mascara. So for my lips, I had two alternatives that you could use, maybe three. Um, you could go in with the Red Apple lipstick um, in the shade Dusty Rose. It's kind of like a pink um, lip liner. And then go over it with a gloss. That's what I did. Um, and this gloss is the uh, Flat White Bite Beauty from the French Press, I believe. Yeah, French Press, press line. I'm still going to go in with this gloss, but um, you could also go in with the Bite Beauty Glace. And it's, again, really similar, just a little darker. Um, it's the second one. Or you can go in with a satin matte lipstick and you don't have to go in with a gloss. It just locks in place all day. I would definitely go in with this one if you don't want to mess with anything. And this one is the last one on there if you can't tell i love my mobs all these products are actually great formulation this satin matte though will not let you down so good because i want more of a glossy look i'm gonna go in with the glace bite beauty crayon and then a little bit of the gloss over that so i'm gonna lip my lip my line i'm gonna line lip line line my lips i don't know what i'm saying <laughs>
So you can wear this by itself. It's really beautiful, really, really pretty. But I want a little bit of a glossy tint. I'm not going to take too much of this, but this again is a flat white. I'm just going to take a little bit in the middle of my lips. And blend it in, kind of giving me a little bit of a juicy lip look. Alright guys, so there you have it. Here is my finished look. I hope that you guys like it. You definitely can go neuter and neuter and neuter with the lips. Brighter, darker, vampier, however you like. This is just something that I wore to my best friend's wedding and I wanted to bring it to you guys. So I hope that you liked this look. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more makeup looks, definitely give me a thumbs up. But anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. God bless you, God bless your face, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye guys. <laughs>